my name is Ursula Puttor. I live in Switzerland. I am the National Director for Arosha Switzerland. So when we think about something small, um, it's often very negative. We think about something which is uh, insignificant, which is powerless, uh, which, um, which just can't make a difference, which you're not even going to notice. Um, but in fact, um, there's a completely different story behind there because small things can have a really incredible, enormous impact. I think that for me, um, for a long time, I didn't realise how badly biodiversity was doing. Biodiversity loss is, is such an enormous problem and I didn't actually feel like I could do anything about it to start with. It just felt like something which was completely outside of my reach. Yeah, I think um, realising that, uh, that we can still do something about it is uh, already a really big thing. Often we think that we have to wait for the politicians to make the changes or the, the big guys to do the stuff and that that's what's going to create the impact. I think it's really encouraging to see that, um, that God can use just anybody um, and often he will actually use our weaknesses to do something great. But there's so many good signs of that in the Bible as well, that uh, God doesn't, um, he doesn't choose the big guys to do stuff. He goes to get, he just goes to get the, yeah, the Davids and the, and the small, the small people. <laughs> so um, we find our hope in, in God. My name is Stanley Bayer and I work with Arosha Kenya. My main work at the moment is land purchase for conservation in an area called Dakacha Woodland. Uh, Dakacha Woodland is the only other ecosystem where you find the Sokoke Scops Owl and the Clark's Weaver apart from Aramuko Sokoke Forest. And because we are a small organization, we were really overwhelmed by the rate at which the forest was getting lost. So our director marshaled the whole team of Arosha. We went to Dakacha Woodland and we thought all we need to do is pray about it. You could just feel the, the, as you feel the breeze, as you look at the ecosystem, you, you really, you know, felt like, no way, this cannot just go up in smoke. Then we came back and we said, okay, let God do his miracle. Around 2012, one of our employees came to me and, and told me that my father wants to sell 200 acres of his land. And we know if he sells it to any other person, it will be destroyed. There was no land use plan, so anybody who gets a title deed, they can do whatever they want with the land. So eventually Colin and I decided, let us look for money to buy it. It was really a race against time because lots of people were coming from all over Kenya with lots of money to buy land. Fortunately, we managed to, to generate a lot of interest from many supporters and up to now we have more than 4,600 acres of land that we have purchased. If we hadn't bought the 4,600 acres that we bought, then certainly more than three quarters of it would have gone up in smoke. It was really a step of faith because we felt so small and the amount of money that individuals were deriving from the illegal trade of charcoal production, it was huge but we did it out of faith. And from those very small beginnings, we have grown. Now it is not only us, but we are talking of a whole community and other uh, stakeholders as well. But what made a really big difference for me was to really, really realize how much God loves all of his creation. He is going to heal the land, that he is going to restore, he is going to bring his kingdom. Which is also why I like the small things, because when you look at every single detail of what God has created, you can see how much creativity and love there is in it. My encouragement is, despite how big the problem is, you cannot wish it away. The thing is to take action, do something about it, however small it is. You don't know how many people you are going to inspire by taking that small step because you can end up with a whole army behind you in what you're doing.